In a time when bullet hell shooters are becoming less and less popular, it's nice to see independent developers doing their best to keep the genre alive. With former 16-bit era giants like Konami and Capcom staying away from their roots, I think it's safe to say that it wouldn't be a smart business move for them to develop a AAA bullet hell shooter, just like the good old days. That's where Jamestown comes in. Jamestown was developed by an independent company that goes by the name of Final Form Games. And while you've probably never heard of them, trust me, you'll wish you had back in 2011 when Jamestown was released. Jamestown features a single player campaign that you can play with up to four of your friends. You can choose from four ships. The Beam, the Gunner, the Charge, or the Bomber, with each ship having its own strengths and weaknesses. Although in my opinion, the Beam ship is the overall best out of any, and I rarely choose a different one. Having multiple ships, however, raises the level of replayability because you'll want to challenge yourself to beat the game as the ship you're worst at using. Jamestown also offers multiple unique ways to play the game. You can choose between using the keyboard, the mouse, or a USB controller that you plug in. You can also use an arcade stick if you prefer, but it needs to be USB considering you'll most likely be playing the game on PC. It may sound strange to play a bullet hell shooter on a mouse, but trust me, it really works well. Oftentimes, this is my preferred method of playing Jamestown if I don't have an arcade stick ready to go. Jamestown includes four difficulty modes. Normal, Difficult, Legendary, and Divine. Each mode gets tougher and tougher, which only adds to the replay value of the game. There is also an online leaderboard where you can upload your scores to see how you hold up against players from around the country. Also, there is a challenge mode that you can try after you clear certain stages. One of the really neat aspects of Jamestown is the setting. According to the game manual, the game takes place on Mars in an alternate history steampunk 17th century when the planet is a British colony contested by the Spanish and the indigenous Martians. Now that's badass. If the setting doesn't make you want to play Jamestown, certainly the music will. Jamestown features one of the greatest soundtracks to a shooter I've ever heard. fits the steampunk theme perfectly and really makes it feel like you are in the Jamestown universe. Overall, I'd have to say Jamestown is really worth its asking price. It not only pays homage to classic 16-bit era shooters, it takes them to a whole new level with loads of extra features. So go ahead and pick this game up on Steam or get the new Jamestown Plus on PlayStation 4. And remember to always keep it classic.